the most requested ultimate EDC, or maybe the most suggested ultimate EDC. Hello YouTube, how we doing today? Today we're gonna to talk about this little EDC kit I put together based off a multitude of comments that I've received on past videos and based off some of the videos I've seen on other EDC people's platforms. And what this is, is a tiny little EDC belt kit, which we've had several of these featured on the channel in the past. Happens to match my current, well, kind of match anyway, current EDC wallet. And so, it doesn't match very well in this lighting, does it? <laughs> it does in decent light, but uh, this is a little EDC kit with a Victorinox compact, and I put it in what would normally be upside down, which is actually right side up so you could see the logo, but generally, I run it with the other side down because it goes in and out much easier, as you can see. And this, of course, is the Victorinox Compact, which has been kind of known, become infamous for its EDC utility and minimalist toolkit. We're gonna to talk about that here in a minute because we've talked about this in the past and don't need to go much into the weeds, but really the item that has been the most suggested has been the Kinepix pliers. And these are the extra small Kinepix pliers. And I wanna talk about the utility of these because I do think that they are in high utility, these little pliers. But what opportunities do I have to use them on a daily basis? Well, that can vary. And compared to the compact, I'd say not as much. Now, I've had countless times to use the compact all the time, uh, daily, basically. I use it to open beer bottles. I use the screwdriver on countless items. As a matter of fact, there's been an activity I've been participating a lot in lately. We're not gonna talk about it on this channel because I have another channel where I specifically talk about that. But let's just say, due to my increased activity in this one thing, I've been using it a lot lately to adjust various types of instruments. Now, before we go into the weeds of the compact just a little bit more, I wanna talk about how useful I could find this. Because I've been in several scenarios in the past in my life where this has been might have been a lot more useful on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, one, I was a mechanic for a certain amount of time, six years professionally, as a matter of fact. I could have thought, I can think of countless ways this could be used in an automotive shop or in a mechanic scenario. I was actually a heavy equipment mechanic, so my tools tended to turn towards the larger size, but the extra small Kinepix pliers are an excellent EDC choice. Another example would have been when I worked in a pilot plant at a corn factory in basically a research setting. There's all kinds of little nuts and bolts that this would have been a great option to carry on in a cargo pocket or in a little minimalist pouch like this on your belt day to day. Another thing too is before I bought my Jeep, I have a fairly new Jeep, it's like a 2022, so it doesn't break a lot. But before I had a Jeep, I had an old 2001 Chevy Silverado that parts would fall off it as I drove down the dirt road. So I was always having to use little pliers on the battery terminals, on small nuts and bolts all the time, almost on a daily basis. These would have been much more handy back then. Now I happen to work in a laboratory, but uh, as it turns out, I'm the boss. So I actually sit in an office a lot, or here at home. <laughs> but uh, most of my guys in the lab might find these useful on a day-to-day -day basis, as there are lots of little nuts and clamps and bolts and things on laboratory equipment that these might come in useful for. Now, I still am choosing to carry these around as kind of a test case to see when and if I will be using these on a more frequent basis, but I can say, if there's one thing that I found immense amount of utility from, it has been the Victorinox Compact. And we'll just briefly go through the tool set. It does have the basic knife blade inherent to the 91 millimeter Victorinox. And then it has an excellent tool, in my opinion, the Combi Tool. I don't know if you can see that there. The Combi Tool is an excellent tool that combines a cap lifter, a can opener, uh, actual screwdriver and a wire stripper in a very minimalist but very functional high utility design, the multi-tool or the combi tool on the Victorinox Compact. Plus scale, so it has the uh, pressurized pen and the scale for your day-to-day -day writing. The toothpick, of course, I'm not gonna pull that out. I think everybody knows what a toothpick looks like. The tiny little tweezers. Sorry, the, the, this is one of those fancy cameras that wants to uh, focus on my 
incredibly handsome face. So sorry if that's out in focus. <laughs> and then of course uh, we have the scissors. Now these scissors on this Victorinox Compact see a lot of use. I did traditionally use the scissors on my Leatherman a lot more, but I'm tending to trend towards these more often these days. It doesn't hurt that I'm carrying it, so I tend to use it. Then on the back, we have the corkscrew wine bottle opener. I find to be very functional in loosening tight knots. It's got the tiny little screwdriver here for tightening your sunglasses or small tiny screws. And this one, I love this about Victorinox, I really do, is, I don't know if you can see it, the push pin. I absolutely adore these push pins. I think this is genius. This is one of the things that makes me love Victorinox Swiss Army knives, is little tiny things like this that I've used to pin pieces of cloth together, reset electronics on the little reset button, clean out small little crevices and areas. It's just a beautiful thing, the little push pin, in my opinion. But I'm a little bit of a Victor Knox fanboy, if you haven't noticed. And then we have the parcel hook. And of course, the great thing about the parcel hook on the Victor Knox Compact is that the on it's the only one that has the diamond file built into the back spine of it. So you let me know what you all think. Again, this was a lot of suggestions in the comment section. A lot of other EDC community people has suggested these little Kinepics. I mean, they're made in Germany. Um, I have the knockoff, I can't remember the name of the brand, uh, a large pair of these from Harbor Freight. <clears throat> and then I have all, all, the, all manner of channel locks and uh, you know, grooved teeth pliers, if you will, including the, uh, the new Robo ones from Craftsman, they're not new, new for, to me, but they're actually 90s tools that we'll talk about in a future video. But what do you think about this? Is this the ultimate small EDC toolkit minimalist design or something that's at least cool or interesting in your opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, did I say section? Section. The comment section below and that's it. Hope everybody's doing well. Take care.